Hey, this is Morgan with Do You Even Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to talk to you about a program installer that I ran across several years ago that works really well for making it easy to manage programs. So say that you're somebody that just doesn't like to mess with a computer and uh, hate having the updates and stuff pop up all the time that this needs to update and that needs to update and there's nothing that you, that you know of that seems to fill in the gaps of, of being able to keep things up to date. Well, I have something that's called uh, a website called Nanite. So we're going to go ahead and go to Google. And we're going to search Nanite Installer. And we want to go to this first web link here, Nanite.com. This is a program or a website that allows you to check from this list of software, the software that you want, and not only will it go out to those websites and download that software, but by keeping this icon, by saving this icon, this file that you'll see that I'm going to download here, you can actually keep your programs up to date by using it. So we've got Google Chrome on here, but let's say that you want to install Chrome and you need Firefox as well. Well, you can keep going down the list and find any of these that you want, Discord, Chat, um, Notepad++, other utility, VLC, Video Player. I have that already, but I'll show you kind of what it does when you, um, when you go to run it. Spotify, if you need Java or a newer .NET, you know, I mean, it's, it has all these different programs in it that are great programs um, and are used by a lot of people. I use Inkscape, sometimes Faststone. Malwarebytes, to list a few of them. So, let's just say that I don't need any of the other ones. Again, just demonstrational purposes. And we want to get in a night. What it's going to do is it's going to compile an installer. Let's go ahead and show it in folder. It'll be in the downloads folder. Minimize this. So now that this installer is here, we don't need the web interface anymore. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the desktop because, like I said, keeping this allows you to update so now what I do for some people that want it to just be as simple as possible uh, I just call this updater so if I call a program updater then um, a person that maybe not doesn't use the computer very often they're reminded as to what that's for and why it's there but if you run it originally what it will do is it will go through and it will look for any of the programs that you said you wanted. You have to click yes and let it install. And if you click show details, it will look to see first off, is that program on there? If that program is not, it will go out to the internet and it will download the latest version of that program that it can. And it will tell you if you already have a newer version installed or the newest version installed. So we'd expect that when it gets down to Chrome, after downloading and installing Firefox, that it will say that Chrome is okay and it will skip over Chrome. And that's where I'm saying it will, it will update and download the latest updates, but if it's not necessary, it just skips over the program. So if you had 10 or 12 things in here, then you know, you could see how over time it would save you a lot of time. So apparently I did not have the latest version of Chrome because it does seem to be downloading Chrome. So now it says the status is OK of Firefox and now it is downloading Chrome. So it will go through and it will download Chrome, download Notepad++, and um, the same with VLC. It will look to see if I have the latest version of VLC. And if I don't, it will download the latest version of PLC, or VLC. <laughs> so let's see, give it just a couple more minutes here and it should be done fairly quick. It's going to finish up installing Chrome. And by leaving this here on your desktop, it's easily accessible and um, like I said does give you that good reminder especially if you have several different programs 
um, that maybe are running like malware bytes, you don't have to worry about individually clicking update on all those different programs. It can do that for you. So you can see that it finished up. It told me I had the latest version of VLC and it did not have to install VLC. So this is the Nanite installer and program updater. It works really well. Um, it's not perfect for everyone because it ha does have a limited number of programs that you can install from it. But if you're trying to just ease the load of somebody that's learning how to use a computer or someone that's not familiar with a computer system and you're trying to make it easier for you to manage for them or assist them with, this can really be a great utility. This is Morgan with Deven Tech and we'll see you again in the next video.